Welcome back. We got some summer like days ahead of us today as well as tomorrow. We could break record high temperatures today. It's going to be really close by a degree or two, but tomorrow we're really going to shatter records by a good 10 degrees. Going to be breezy out of the south uh, today as well as tomorrow. That's going to blow up that warm air before that wind switches direction behind a cold front that's going to move through our area Tuesday night into Wednesday could bring some rain. I'll talk about that here in a second. And as far as Halloween, it is going to be partly sunny, but it is going to be a lot chillier. Temperatures are going to be about 30 degrees cooler, cooler than where we are at today with those high temperatures. Today going to be into the 70s and some of us are already into the 70s. 70 for Wasika as well as Blue Earth already up to 73 degrees as you go into New Alms. 72 for St. James and these temperatures are already a good 15 degrees above where our average highs are for this year and those high temperatures again going to be into the mid to upper 70s some spots might even get close to 80 degrees if there's enough peaks of sunshine out there this afternoon but tomorrow a lot of us are going to get into the 80s expected to get into the low 80s how about 82 tomorrow for blue earth 81 for fairmont 80 degrees here into Mankato for a forecast high tomorrow, and that is going to beat the record of 69 degrees set back in 2021. So we're going to beat that record by a good 11 degrees for our afternoon tomorrow. It is going to be a very warm day, and if you like the warm weather, enjoy tomorrow because look at Wednesday behind that cold front. Temperatures going to drop a good 22 degrees into the upper 50s. Halloween looking chilly with high temperatures into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. As we go into next weekend, temperatures start to warm up a little bit into the mid to upper 50s, right about average for the first weekend of November. So we got a couple warm days before things start to change because of this low pressure system that's going to develop tomorrow afternoon with a cold front to the west. There will be a lot of warm air ahead of that cold front tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. That could create an isolated shower or even a stronger storm if there's enough energy to break that dry slot around that low pressure, but really not expecting too much activity tomorrow night. It's going to be more so Wednesday as that cold front starts to cross the area. You can see these showers and storms start to develop really from Mankato closer to I-35 and to the east, the better chance of seeing some more soaking rain on Wednesday. I'll show that here with the hour by hour. Today, partly sunny. A couple little clouds start to increase as we go later into the afternoon. A partly cloudy night. Tomorrow, some sunshine in the afternoon. And this is the gap. You can see the model's not picking up any showers or storms. But if one storm could develop during this time slot tomorrow, it could be on the stronger side. And we go into Wednesday along that cold front as it continues to move east. You can see the heaviest rain really along I-35 and to the east. That's where more of the uh, soaking showers and storms will be for Wednesday. Looking at the QPF, a good inch or more expected, especially as you go into Wisconsin. Right on the edge as you go Mankato, down south into northern Iowa towards Algona. We're going to be right on the edge of where those showers develop. A lot of us are going to miss out on some much needed rain as we go Tuesday night into Wednesday. Today just going to be a gorgeous day with some warm temperatures into the mid 70s, breezy out of the south with gusts around 35 miles an hour. Tonight temperatures going to be warm and mild into the upper 50s to near 60s. Start to cool down though. By Wednesday, we'll watch this. We can get some scattered showers and storms. And Halloween, it's going to be chilly with overnight temperatures dropping into the upper 20s. Mr. Food is after the break.